Hello all, in this tutorial we will see how to backup and restore a virtual machine that is created on Azure. Backup and restore is very simple on Azure. So you can create a backup of a virtual machine in two simple steps. One is to create a recovery service vault or if you already have one you can choose the existing recovery service vault and the second step is to choose a backup policy. Let's look at the backup and recovery demonstration. Here I am on the Azure portal and here I have created a demo CentOS virtual machine. Let me launch that. Once the overview is launched, you can scroll down and find for backup under operations section. Here you see the backup option is available. Click on the backup option. Now you will be allowed to choose an existing service vault or create a new one. As I do not have any service vault that is already existing, so I will be creating a new recovery service vault and I will go on with the default name. And I would like to have it in the same resource group as the demo virtual machine that I have created which is demo VMRG and here is the backup policy which is the second simple step as a part of creating a backup for your virtual machine. So by default a daily policy is created. You can also configure how your policy backup policy needs to be. So let me open that policy and give nice policy name i would like to have a backup for every once in a week so i'm giving it a weekly policy as a name of the policy and the frequency is weekly and i would like to take the backup on sunday 7 30 pm indian standard time or any time of your choice so here it is for India plus 530 and how long would you like to maintain these backups so you can select that here I would like to retain every backup that has been taken for at least 16 month weeks which is approximately four months so and I'd like to click on OK and my policy name has been populated here and I will enable backup by clicking on this button so it is currently validating the configuration and initializing the deployment now it is submitting the deployment for backup the deployment is in progress generally the backup configuration for the first time takes almost near to an hour so i will be pausing the video and i will get back once the deployment is done now that we have configured a recovery service vault for the backup and chosen a backup policy, let's go and initiate a back first manual backup for our demo set OS virtual machine. So I'm on the virtual machine page and I'll scroll down to operations and I'll find backup. Click on the backup link. Now you will see an option to backup now which will explicitly enforce the virtual machine to backup in its current state. So I am going ahead and clicking on backup. So I would like to give it a name called the date followed by annual backup. So I will click on OK now and the backup process has been initiated. 
the backup has been triggered successfully and we can monitor the progress in backup job space so let's click on that backup job page as i mentioned the backup will take place for almost an hour i'll come back once the backup is done but before i come back after a pass let's look at what is happening behind the scenes of creating a backup so i'll be clicking on the operation that has the name backup so it will redirect me to a page where the details are shown like currently it is taking a snapshot so that is in progress once it is done taking a snapshot it will transfer the data which is the snapshot taken to the wall that we have created now that you can see the snapshot has been taken and the status is completed it has initiated the transfer of data to the wall notice one thing here you can cancel this operation anytime if you wish to okay it's been more than an hour so let's look at the backup job that we have triggered for our demo vm i'm clicking on the demo centos virtual machine and scroll down to operations and click on backup i would like to look at uh, how long the backup job has ran for so click on view all jobs and here we see the backup operation has completed and it took 41 minutes 18 seconds to complete the backup so let's look at the details so taking the snapshot completed and transferring data to the world is also done okay so as we have created a backup for this let's go back to the backup screen now and look at few of the features that are displayed here the backup status pre-check has passed and last backup status is success on so and so date and time and the summary the oldest restore point available is this and what else you can see here is the restore point so as we are done with successfully create creating a backup let's restore the vm to that particular backup point that we have created so i have clicked on the restore vm available in backup option here you can see the restore vm and you will see the blade opened up for restoring the vm here and you all you need to do is select the restore point which is the only backup that we have created ever since we have created this vm so i have chosen that by clicking on this link and click ok and the restore configuration is i want to replace the existing configuration replace this and staging location and click on ok uh -oh, we see that a validation failed message and it probably be the vm is running in the background and hence it is not able to restore so let me go back to the vm overview page and shut the vm down here I am on the overview page now and let me stop the VM yes yes the virtual machine is being shut down and uh, let me go back meanwhile the process completes and uh, click on restore VM and the restore point I am choosing it again and click on OK 
and the restore configuration I want to replace the same virtual machine with the backup that I have created and uh, before I click OK let's wait for the virtual machines to stop okay the virtual machine has been stopped successfully so now I am clicking on OK to restore the configuration and click on restore to initiate the backup that has we, that we have created so let's look at the progress the restore has been triggered and the restore again takes more or less the same time as the backup process and here you can see the operations the restore operation is in progress and let's look at what is happening behind the scenes so it is again transferring the data from vault and once it is done transferring the data from the vault it will update the virtual machine and the backup process it will again retake the backup by initiating the snapshot and then transfer the data to the vault so that's how you do backup and restore for Azure virtual machines okay so let's look at whether the restore process has been completed or not now I am on the virtual machine page so let me again access the backup blade which is available under operations and let me look at the jobs by clicking on view all jobs and here you can see the restore operation has been completed and it took 21 minutes for it to complete so Ensure that once you are done with your restore operation, go back to the overview and start the VM because the restore of the existing backup will need you to shut down. So you might have shut down the virtual machine when restoring the same virtual machine. So ensure that you start that again. So that's all about backup and restore of virtual machine in Azure. Thank you.